Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to this channel. I didn't like the other video that I did um, when it referred to your foundation base when you're gonna prep for either a dramatic look or whatever it is, whether you do this first or after. So here I went into a little bit more details and I blended a little bit more, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I hope you guys like this uh, just base, I don't know, to start off with for like just foundation and overall like just looks. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started with this video. See, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is prep your skin and I'm going to go ahead and just moisturize. So again, I'm using the same moisturizer. I'm using the Tatcha moisturizer that Mario um, Dedevanovic collabed with or you know worked with to create this it's it actually feels really 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 soft um so i'm gonna go ahead and just put that here on the skin oh got some on my hair <laughs> oh my god okay and i am gonna take my eye cream again this is the derma e firming eye cream so i am gonna go ahead and take that one and just put it um, underneath the eyes I like to press it down especially because you know as you get older you start getting like wrinkles and stuff so this is a really good eye cream for firming and yes yeah, so now that we have done that I will use a primer if I'm gonna go out um, so I want to set you guys up for a good long wearing foundation and I'm using the hydro grip primer from milk and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with my fingers so I'm gonna just rub it like this and start from the inner part of the skin and outwards so inner part by the nose outward center and outwards I'm gonna put it everywhere we're gonna let that settle in so you can at this time do your brows. I already have my brows done. So in the last video, I actually wore medium and before in the summertime, I was wearing honey and this is the blur liquid foundation from Milk. So I'm gonna take both uh, foundations and I am going to mix it just because I did feel like my last foundation, my last video, this foundation was a little light. So I don't usually use a lot of foundation. You guys have seen when I did my um, most recent video, which was the like neutral look, I just used powder. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. It was part of like a holiday collection and I'm going to apply this on. So this, as you guys can see, it's nice and golden now. So I like that it is like that because I do have discoloration right here. So it's a little bit darker here than it is in the cheek area. So this has to match that. And this is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. Okay, so you can blend it out with a brush or you can blend it out with a sponge, whatever it is that you guys feel comfortable with. And just remember, if you're going to use a sponge, you just want to go ahead and um, make sure it's damp. So I'm just going to blend this in. So you want to just blend. The more you blend, the better. So you can do circular motions. I'll probably go in with a sponge afterwards just so I can make sure it's nice and blended. So taking the rest of this and applying it to the rest of my face. Down the neck, just so it doesn't look uneven. Um, sometimes I do this, sometimes I do this. I'm telling you guys, this is mostly when I just I'm gonna go all out. I like to put some right here. So now that I have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with cream, or creme, I mean, and this is the concealer. It's called the Flex Concealer from ColourPop, I mean, wow, from Milk. 
because I was looking at the palette that I have here. It's a ColourPop palette. And I'm going to take the Real, t uh, not the Real Techniques, the Morphe sponge. I actually like the Real Techniques better, but this is the one I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take and take this sponge and just blend it out. So you want to press it in. And what I'm going to do is just kind of pat everywhere else just to make sure that it's nice and blended and it picks up any excess foundation. I just put on some Quick Fix from Urban Decay and that's just because this foundation is super matte although I do have the um, Hydro Grip primer my skin is a little bit more on the dry side so I have to make sure it's nice and dewy so that's what you guys see here when it's like shining like this and everything so now that I have that on I'm gonna go ahead and kind of contour in a way so I'm gonna teach you guys how to contour so this is just gonna be your base of your makeup look I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way multi use sculpting concealer and this one is in chestnut and I also have light beige. So I'm going to take light beige and put this down here. Okay. Okay. Down the bridge of the nose. A little bit right here. So a little. I'm going to do a little tree. And then I'm taking the chestnut. I'm not taking a lot of it. I'm just taking a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here. And one here. And then here. And here. And then down here. And down here. Down here. And down here. So those are the areas that I am going to contour. And I'm going to go ahead and use the... Um, sponge the beauty blender sponge here so I'm gonna go in first with the lighter color and just kind of pat that in blend that in do the same thing with this end and wherever else I used it Now, with the other side, I'm going to go ahead and just blend out any other areas where I am putting, where I, where I had put the contour color. I want to just show you how to do this with creams. So again, you want to just go ahead and blend this upwards towards the hairline. And then with the other side that I have the lighter one, I'm going to just clean it up right here. The closer you bring it to your mouth, the more sunken in your contour is going to be. So you see that it brings like the appearance of more like skinnier chiseled look. Now with the butt of the beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go over everything just so everything is nice and blended. So it'll pick up any excess um, foundation or creams or anything like that. So now that we have all the creams and we have everything, I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe M36 brush and I have some Derma Blend powder on here. I'm going to always tap the excess off. The excess. Yeah, I always say excess. And I'm going to apply that. Actually, you could put a little bit more. I'm going to bake. It's going to look like this. My lashes are all filled with this. I'm going to bake wherever I get creasing. 
so you're gonna look crazy like this believe it or not with whatever else you have on the brush you're gonna just pat the excess off and then you're just going to kind of blend it out into everything else so this is just going it's kind of like a minimal it's you're not really baking so it's just setting everything else in so I'm gonna go ahead and start removing everything just because I don't like to bake for that long so now that we super baked we're gonna go ahead and um, put on a little bit of bronzer with the powders to kind of set everything in so I'm gonna do my contour and my contour I'm gonna take my Japanese brush and I'm gonna contour with a little bit of the city bronzer so this is a bronzer and contour powder this is the number 300 so I'm gonna just take just a little bit of this it looks like that tap, tap the at the excess off and then just apply it to where I applied that chestnut color you want to make sure you blend this towards the hairline Alright, now that we did that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Lip and Cheek Rally Cream Blush with this Duo Fiber brush. And I'm going to just go ahead and apply that on. So what I like about this blush is that it's a cream blush. And honestly, it goes on really nicely over the powders and it still gives my skin that dewiness so if your skin is a little bit more dry look into using more of the cream blushes so the highlight that i'm going to use is the maybelline master chrome in the number 100 molten golden it looks just like this super nice it gives me a really pretty highlight i'm going to go ahead and use my anastasia a23 brush and I'm gonna apply it right over where the cream um, blush is. And I'm gonna do a little C like this. So I like to just blend it. And then I'm going to apply it down the bridge of the nose. So I'm throwing on some Blistex just for the purpose of this video. So the last thing that you want to go ahead and do after you do your whole base is put on some either setting spray, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with the quick fix again, just because like I told you guys, my skin is a little bit more on the dry side. Ugh, so good. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys actually learned from this um, makeup application as far as for like your foundation and your base before you do an eye look and this looks a lot more different than the other one and I also did teach you guys how to incorporate like cream contouring um, and how to blend that out and everything so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next video um, and I hope you guys are enjoying these looks that I am doing for you guys so please leave it in the comments down below if you guys want to learn anything else if what you learned please let, let me know what you did learn in this video that you didn't know before and let me know if you do the your makeup the same way that I do when you apply your foundation when you're gonna do like a beat face so um, also don't be shy let me know in the comments if you guys want to see anything um, and don't forget to subscribe like this um, video and turn on the notification bell just so you guys can get notified whenever I do make my next video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.